Hi guys, I hope you're good. This is Charit and uh, welcome back to my page. Today we're gonna do a Lebanese Arabic lesson as usual. And as always, when I say Lebanese Arabic, it means it falls under the same category of the Levantine dialect, which is spoken in Lebanon, Jordan, Palestine, and Syria. I will be live both on Instagram and YouTube. Maybe on YouTube uh, it would be easier for you because um, I share my screen, I take my notes on the screen. So you can go to my YouTube page, it's called Globetrot with Arabic, or you can stay here on Instagram. I will be turning my screen every now and then and showing you as much as I can. But if you have time, just go to my YouTube page and watch from there. Excuse my hair because I have, before I take a shower, I put some coconut oil and uh, rosemary oil and stuff like that. So I have some time, I thought I can multitask. My mom's not going to be happy with that. Hi everyone. Hi Nusayb. Nice to see you. Yalla. Let's wait a minute for everybody to sign in. On YouTube as well, guys, let me know if uh, you can hear the sound. Hi, Rosie. Let me know if the sound is good. Okay. And before I begin, as always, let me tell you a little bit about the courses and the, um, yeah, the live courses that I run and the 30 day challenge packages that I run. So the live courses, uh, I think it's a little bit date for you guys to join because we started three weeks ago, but the next one will start in April so it's every course we do uh, it's for three months every Lebanese Arabic course we do is for three months but alternatively you have the option of doing the uh, pre-recorded self-paced course hi Nabila um, so what is this uh, pre-recorded self-paced course it's a 30-day challenge course uh, you receive it I send it to you by email you download it to your computer and you can do it on your own. The good thing about it is that you have lifetime access to it. We have different levels all the way from absolute beginners, beginners, general one, general two, and general three. And uh, so you can finish it in 30 days if you want to challenge yourself, or you can finish it in two months, three months. You can stretch it over uh, as much time as you need. Okay. Uh, I always say, uh, this is my sentence I always say in my videos, it's always good to study on social media, on YouTube, Instagram, whatever. But if you're ser serious about learning a language, you need to have a structure, a course plan. Uh, you know where you're going. Okay, on day one, we're learning this. By the end of the month, I would be here. And then the next one, I will be here. You know where you're going. You're not just randomly learning a few sentences here and there. Okay. Yalla, shall we begin? So this is a little passage uh, I took from my lesson yesterday. Um, one of the students was telling me what she did on that day and she was vi visiting someone in the hospital. So I took a little, little piece of it and I want to share it with you, okay? So I'm going to first start by reading it fast uh, and then I'm going to break it down and say it slowly, okay? As I said, on Instagram, you can now go to my YouTube page it's, if it's easier for you to follow because there you can see my screen fully. Okay? Yeah, I'm going to start by reading. I'm not going to show you here on Instagram. Just listen once and then I will turn my screen. Yeah. So, Jarte Wa'at. Yom, Rihat Shaqat Ala Jarte Bibayta. Hiya Mara Kbira Bil Amr. Aw Khatiara. Akhadua Al Mistashfa Mbirih. لأنه وعيت بالليل تتفوت على الحمام وهي وعم تمشي داخت ووقعت منيح اللي كان جوزة بالبيت لأنه ما كانت قادرة توقف عجريا هو يلي تلفن لسيارة الإسعاف كرمال يجو ياخدوها بس الحمد لله هلأ رجعت على البيت وما بها شي قديت عخير هاي سيكسيا This is my sister Okay, so yalla, I'm gonna read it slowly. I read it like not so fast, like we say it in Lebanon, but also not so slow for, for students. Let's say it slowly, I'm gonna turn my camera, yalla. So guys, if you don't know how to read Arabic, you can look, look at the Roman alphabet, but please learn the Arabic script, okay? And if you don't learn it, there will always be a gap in your studying. So please learn it, even if I'm showing it to you online. Okay, Allah. So, I'm going to start by showing this side and then this side. Okay? So, اليوم رحت شقيت. Okay, always say out loud with me. Hi, Franco. 
always say out loud with me always 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 all the time not like yeah i'm listening yeah, and i'm i'm learning no you have to write yalla go grab a pencil and pen a piece of paper and pen yalla write it down say it out loud all the time yalla so اليوم رحت شقيت على جارتي ببيتها هي مرة كبيرة بالعمر أو ختيارة أوكي يلا let's see it in Arabic so اليوم رحت شقيت على جارتي ببيتها هي مرة كبيرة بالعمر هاي ستيفان أو ختيارة Okay, so let's break it down. So, اليوم يعني today. Okay, اليوم. Today. رحت. I, I'm going to try to show both screens, okay? So, اليوم رحت. I went. اليوم رحت. Today I went. اليوم رحت شقيت على. Look, it's a very nice verb to know. A very nice expression. شقيت على. You can abbreviate the على into a. شقيت ع or شقيت على Are you saying it out loud? Are, are you writing it? يلا say it with me Let me explain what it means So شقيت على And then you mention who For example, maybe you put the name Maybe you put جارتي in this case For example, my neighbor I'm going to explain in a second what it means But I'm going to explain first the word جارتي So the word جارة on its own جارة as you can see جا is a female neighbor. You notice here the te marbuta is silent. I'm not pronouncing it. I don't say jarat. I say jara. But when I want to add a possessive ending to it, which is the e here in the end, which means my jarte, I'm not saying jara e. I end up pronouncing this te marbuta here, okay? And I say jarte, not jara e. We don't even say jarate. We drop the fatha on the ra. It becomes Jarte, my neighbor, my female neighbor. If it's a guy neighbor, you say jare without the t. Jare. So jare, my neighbor. Jarte, my female neighbor. So what's the meaning of the verb sha'ait ala or sha'ait a? Yalla, who knows it? Anybody knows it? Yalla, tell me. Because the literal meaning. Uh, wait, what happened? Okay. Uh, the literal meaning is sha'ait. Um, uh, um, like for example, maybe if the do doctor opens your belly, he is like bishet el button. Yani he, um, what's the word in English? Okay, wait. Let's find it on uh, Google Translate. One second. Uh, I checked it yesterday, but I already for forgot. Uh, yeah, like an, literally, the meaning is like to make an incision. Okay, like you see how how cool Arabic is. Like, look where it comes from. Okay, so okay. Speaking of incisions, look, Doctor he, Doctor Sirag is here. So, Sha'ait is uh, I uh, kind of made an incision. And Nabila, you should know this one because you were in class. So why do we why do we say Sha'ait ala hadan? What does it mean when you say it? I'm going to wait for Nabila to say it. Pressure time. <laughs> okay, if you don't know it, don't worry, Nabila. But yalla, I'm going to wait to see if anybody knows it. Hi, Celia. Hi, Iliada. You are here. Nice to see you. Rosie as well. Uh, yes, visit them. Very good, Nabila. So when we visit someone, especially if somebody is in the hospital or somebody, for example, is sick, or not necessarily, you know, when you want to pass by someone or like when you want to visit your parents, we can say, for example, Ana zirit, I visited. Ana zirit, zirit, yes. Ana zirit. But you can also say, Ana sha'ait ala. Kind of just imagine, yani, if you pass by someone, okay, you pass by them, it's like you're drawing a line through them and you're, you're doing an incision. I don't know why we... We say that, but يعني, it means that, okay? It doesn't mean making an incision at all in this case. When you say شَأَيْتْ عَلَى جارتي, you are passing by them, visiting them, paying them a visit, more than just visiting them, okay? So 
uh, for example, if somebody is in the hospital, you can say, for example, I don't know, uh, Jean was in the hospital, you can say, Anna, رحت, I went, شأيت a Jean, or شأيت على Jean, okay, I passed by them, I paid them a visit, you can, can you say, Anna, زرت Jean, yes, you can say it, that's totally okay, okay, so, yalla, let's repeat the sentence, say it out loud with me, write it down, okay, um, you can even record my voice in the end, uh, but not now, in the end, so that you have it in full. Yeah, I'll turn my camera. Okay, so, اليوم رحت شأيت على جارتي. Today, I went and I made an incision on, which means I visited جارتي, my neighbor, ببيتا. ببيتا. بيت يعني house, right? بيت, house. بيتا, the a in the end, means her, like her house, Baita. Bi Baita in her house, Bi Baita. So, Lyon, Yalla, Marra Tanya, another time, a second time, Lyon. Rehet Shait Ala Jarti Bi Baita in her house. He ye Mara Kbiri Bil Amr. So, notice here how I wrote the word Mara with an alif. Like in standard Arabic, we pronounce it Marra, Marra. But in the Lebanese dialect, that's silent. Sometimes people maybe even just write it like that. Mara. Mara يعني woman. هي Mara. She is a woman. هي Mara. كبيرة بالعمر. Okay, let's, this, this, let's see what this means. So, كبيرة is the feminine of كبير, which means big, right? And then بال, if we break بال down, it's the abbreviation of B, which means in or with and then il which means the it's the definite article the so together i'm not going to say b il we will merge it into bil it means with the or it also means uh, in the okay so here when i say bil amr literally i'm what am i saying yalla who knows bil amr just bil amr what's amr I want to check my YouTube students if anyone knows. Or on Instagram, tell me. Let's get rid of this page. Okay, so. Uh, show guys. Does anyone know? Rosie, Celia, Iliada. What's the meaning of Amr? I'm going to wait for someone. Yes, age. Very good. Adriana said it's age. It's true. So, Bil Amr literally means in the age. Okay? Or in age, basically. So when we say kbir bil amr, masculine, or kbir bil amr, feminine, we're saying, you know, they are, it's the, it's, the, it's the kind or polite way of saying they are big in age, yani they are old, okay? So kbir bil amr, maybe a senior citizen or something, okay? So kbir bil amr, uh, kbir bil amr. Tab, if I want to say somebody is young, how can I say? The opposite of it, yalla. I think it's easy for you to guess. Kbire bil amr or the opposite, small in age we're going to say. Yalla, let me see who's going to guess it first. Yes, Tom, it's age. Great. Yalla, who's going to tell me how we say somebody's young? Hi, Eva. Nice to see you here. Yalla, shoo guys. Hey, zghiri. Good, good, Shereen. Yalla, very good, everyone. So we will say صغيري بالعمر, okay? صغيري بالعمر, يعني young, or if it's a masculine, if it's a guy, or in the masculine form, we're going to say صغير بالعمر, okay? Small in the age, يعني young. Now, there is a nice, another word we can use, which is ختيار in the masculine form. Pronounce it as a خ, ختيار, ختيار, masculine, ختيارة. Feminine. So, khutyar or khutyara are literally like old person. Like maybe you just imagine them. They have like a, like wrinkles or a cane or gray hair or something. Yeah, and it's not bad to use. Uh, I don't know if it's not nice to use. I just don't like to say somebody's old. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, and if imagine somebody yeah, and is, I don't know, some 80 years old and you, uh, uh, it happens sometimes like when... Uh, some people we are sitting together and they talk about okay okay look 
For example, if your parents are like, I don't know, 70 or 80 years old, and you mention somebody else who's being khatyar and 70, 80 years old, they're gonna feel bad, you know? So it's not nice to say it, I don't know. So I don't like to say it, but people use it so much normally, it's not bad to use it, it's not a taboo to use it, it's not wrong, it's just so normal, and sometimes it's even maybe cute to use it. There is even a Lebanese song called Ya Sitti Ya Khatyara, my uh, grandma my old grandma yeah and you're pampering her in that case خلاص, just say كبير بالعمر better okay not even say that even more better <laughs> okay so yeah yeah let's repeat i'm gonna say the sentence say it out loud with me and try to uh yes exactly Shereen. Uh, i wouldn't want it as well when i'm getting older so yeah let's say it uh once and say it with me out loud okay yeah I'm gonna say it slowly. اليوم, today, رحت شأيت. So notice there's a uh, It's not شأيت. And it's not, we're not pronouncing the قاف, شقيت. No, it's شأيت. Uh, and there is a شدة on the uh, You're pressing on it. شأيت. اليوم رحت شأيت على جارتي. Or شأيت على جارتي ببيتة. In her house. He, love you too, Yusuf. He, I'm gonna say something. He, mara kbire bilamur. She is a woman big in the age, and she's an older woman. She's a senior citizen. He, mara kbire bilamur. Or you can say old person is khatiar. Okay? Guys, Yusuf sometimes does my thumbnails and social media stuff. So if anyone wants to do it, you can follow him. His name is Yusuf Ganin. 93. He's born in 93, I assume. Okay, yalla. Let's continue. Um, yalla. Akhaduwa. Akhaduwa. Al-Mistashfa. Mbirih. Yalla, khalas. I don't want to be distracted by you. Okay, yalla. So, Akhaduwa. Al-Mistashfa. Mbirih. La'innu. Wa'iyit. Bil-layl. Tadfut. Al-Himmim. Okay, let's repeat. أخدوا أخدوا و. so أخدوا أخدوا is they took. so notice in Arabic when I'm saying when the verb is on its own they took it's أخدوا not أخدوا we don't say do أخدوا o and that o sound is very specific to the Lebanese dialect by the way okay so أخدوا and then if I add ha which means her they took her I'm not going to pronounce it أخدوها, أخدوها. That O, because it's no more at the end of the word, it's in the middle of the word, we go back to pronouncing it U, not O, أخدوها, أخدوها. And that H in the Lebanese dialect, you don't have to pronounce it. It's mostly silent. Of course, there are people who say أخدوها, but generally speaking, we don't say أخدوها, we say أخدوها. U and the A immediately after it. Akhadua, they took her. Akhadua, al mustashfa to the hospital. So mustashfa is hospital. Al means to the in this context. Of course, in other contexts, it can mean to the uh, on the to the. Okay, here it means to the. So akhadua al mustashfa. Okay, it's three syllables. Most of my students have a difficulty pronouncing this word. Say it with me. Miss. مستشفى مستشفى so أخذوها على المستشفى they took her to the hospital أخذوها على المستشفى مبارح مبارح يعني yesterday so when I put two e's I mean there's no right and wrong way of writing it with the Roman alphabet okay so even with the Arabic script because we don't have a standard way of writing a dialect but anyways My point is, personally, when I write two A's, two letter E's, I don't mean E sound, I mean A, A, long A sound here in this case, because I put two. Usually I put these, like this uh, accent on, uh, uh, on it, but I didn't put it because I'm lazy, okay? But يعني, usually I like to put this, okay, type them. So, أخذوها على المستشفى مبارح, they took her to the hospital yesterday. يلا say one more time أخذوها على المستشفى بيرح لأنه because لأنه لأنه 
وعيت اوكي يلا some people have a difficulty pronouncing okay one second some people have a difficulty pronouncing this verb so انا وعيت اوكي it's one syllable انا وعيت it's not انا وعيت انا وعيت اوكي just say it once quick وعيت and if it's difficult you can do a liaison and link it with انا انا و انا و and then just say عيت انا و عيت okay so rather than pausing after انا and then saying و عيت you can say انا و pronouncing the word with it انا و عيت انا و عيت okay that makes it easier to pronounce it انا و عيت I woke up but when um uh, but when I want to say it, which person did I use here? Uh, oh, when I want to say she woke up, it's two syllables. There is a kasra under the wall. It's with. Yalla, say with me. With. Now say with me. Where. Where. And then we will say yit. Where. Yit. It's two syllables. He yit. She. Where yit. Where yit. He yit. Where yit. Got it, guys? If you got it, yeah, like give me a thumb up and write it down or say something or just say it out loud. So, أنا وعيت, that's one syllable. هي وعيت. هي وعيت. يلا, can you say if you understood or not so I can go on? Yalla, write yes, no, difficult, okay, I got it, whatever. Just write comments because it's nice to, first of all, yeah, we communicate. Second, of course, when you write comments, Maybe YouTube or Instagram are gonna, are gonna show the videos to more people. Hi, Fadi. Nice to see you. Okay, Nabila got it. I was. I swear, I didn't want to pressure you and say, Nabila, can you say it? Because yesterday we were struggling with it. But I was thinking about you when you were when I was saying. It. Okay, good. Okay, yalla. Got it. And YouTube guys, did you get it? Let me know. So. <clears throat> Um, so we were saying they took her to the hospital yesterday because she, let me turn my camera because she woke up in the night which means at night okay in the night which means at night because she woke up at night that food that food means so literally so that she enters because usually okay she enters is he ye bit food she enters we have a bit so when I when I use ta ta means in order to by the way it means the same thing as la exactly the same thing la la or ta when I put la in order for her to go inside the toilet for example so I have to drop the B. I cannot say la bit food. I have to say let food. So we drop the B. Let food. Or the same with ta. Ta food. Oh my god, my handwriting is very bad. Okay, so did you get the point? So look, usually it's he ye bit food. Let me write it in Arabic this time. He ye bit food. Okay? So when I say let food so that she enters or tat food so that she enters, I have to drop the B. That's why I say let food or tat food so that she enters. Okay, so where are it the late she woke up at night or in the night, tat food so that she enters or so she goes to basically tat food. Al Hemmim or Atwalat we say in Lebanon. Al Hemmim Al again it's to the it's the combination of a plus il or ala plus il so basically a plus il means al ala plus il is alal <laughs> i know it's confusing so when you say basically basically to summarize al means to the and alal means to the they have exactly 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 the same meaning the only difference is one is abbreviated as al the other is not abbreviated alal Okay, so if I say al hammam or al al hammam, it's exactly the same thing. It means to the toilet. Okay. So yalla. So where is the bill? Tadfut al hammam or tadfut al toilet. And he am tamshi. And he am tamshi. Okay, this is a little bit of a, a a little bit of a 
uh, not easy structure. If anyone knows it already, if you remember it from the classes that I explained, please explain it. Meanwhile, I'm going to start breaking it down, but you type it if you know. It. So, okay. So, عم تمشي, عم تمشي means she walks because تمشي, sorry, she is walking. تمشي means she walks. تمشي. Are you saying it out loud with me? Please say it, okay? تمشي يعني she walks. عم تمشي, she is walking. No. Okay. هي عم تمشي, she is walking again. But what's this w doing here? He, you, I'm Timshi. That w usually means and. But if you see that w just before am or just after the personal pronoun, it doesn't mean and anymore. What does it mean? Who remembers one of my students in class? Yalla, baydoula wujji. Shu yani he, you. Yes, tam tir mnih. While. Very good. Okay. Very good. So, Tom got the answer. So, it's while. So, usually, wow, the wow means, uh, wow, يعني and. But, هون, مش يعني and. It doesn't mean and. It means while. Because it's just before am and right after he. And something very, very important, by the way. Usually, I tell you, okay, you can always drop the personal pronoun because the verb is already conjugated and the verb is telling you who's doing the action in Arabic, okay? But not in this case. Only in this case, you have to 100% of the times put the personal pronoun. You cannot drop it and say, وعم تمشي. No, you have to say, هي وعم تمشي. But if it, there was no wow here, and I was just want, wanting to say, for example, she's walking, I can say, هي عم تمشي, or just عم تمشي. But because I want to say, while she's walking, the personal pronoun here is mandatory. Am I talking uh, Chinese or Scar uh, I mean, not like Arabic, it's easier than Chinese, but in Arabic we say if something is, is difficult, we say it sounds like Chinese to me. So is it like, um, uh, under, like did you understand it? Is it difficult? Am I just talking nonsense to you? What? Tell me. Did you get it? Um, yes, it's correct. Next time, so okay, Nabila. Thank you. Shu, let me know, guys, if you understood it. So, and... Um, meanwhile, we can repeat, okay? By the time you tell me if you got it or not. Yeah. So, أخذوها على المستشفى مبارح. They took her to the hospital yesterday. لأنه وعيت. Okay, Stefan, do. لأنه وعيت بالليل. Because she woke up, woke up in the night. تدفوت على الحمام. So that, so that she goes to the toilet. وهي وعم تمشي. And while she's walking, and while walking, uh, yeah, I can repeat it later, uh, Lily. Okay, هي عم تمشي دخت دخت يعني she um she felt dizzy. Uh, uh, and also in Arabic we're not saying she felt dizzy. Okay, we're just saying she dizzied. Okay, دخت. So دخت و means and و وقعت و أعت. Okay, it's not white, and it's not uh, wa at. No, it's wa a at wa a at. Okay, so uh, Lele, we were saying usually he ye am timshe is she is walking. He ye uh, let me turn my camera to show you. She is walking. It's not fainted. Fainted is dekh ghebet an al wa'i. Okay, I'm going to write the difference between the two now. It's just she felt dizzy. Okay, not fainted. I'll write uh, what fainted means. Okay. So, I was saying here, uh, She woke up in the night, so she goes to the toilet. And then I said, If there's no wall here, means she is walking. But whenever we put a wall just before am. And right after the personal pronoun, the wow usually means and. But in this case, it wouldn't mean and anymore. It means while. So while she was walking, she felt dizzy. Can I give you a little secret? Uh, before I tell you what it means uh, to... Uh, uh, faint. Uh, whenever you have the wow, okay, 
make a little liaison with the word before because if you do that it, it's like it, the the sentences flow much better so instead of saying dekhit and then pausing here and then wa'at you can say dekhit wa'at but i'm going to give you a little secret yalla are you ready for it open your ears you're very welcome Lily. yalla look at the secret what it is whenever you have a wow and you want to do a link with the word before okay you can immediately look at the final letter of, of the word before. If it's a consonant, like in this case, like a t, you can say tu. You can pronounce the wow as a u. Dekhetu, dekhetu wa'at. You see, dekhetu wa'at. Dekhetu, u. Uh, is there another wow that we saw before? Uh, I can't. No, we don't have another one here as an example. Like these are at the beginning of the words. Uh, so, ah, no, no. Okay, here we have he Okay, here look at the wow. If if you look at the last letter of the word before, it's not a consonant. It's he ye. You're pr f finishing it with a vowel sound a he ye. Okay, so in that case, because there's a vowel sound. Be Immediately you do the link and you do like a w sound, not the u sound. He ye he ye So that's how the uh, the pronunciation of the wow can differ. It can sound as an u, or it can sound as a w. If there is a vowel on the last letter before on the word before, pronounce it as a w. If there is a consonant, pronounce it as a u. Okay, so. <clears throat> ah, is it the same? Okay, good, Asta. Thank you for letting me know. So she's saying it's the same in uh, Persian. Okay, so um, let me give you another example. For example, uh, Anna U M N. Me and my mom, right? Look, it's finishing with a A. So I'm not going to say Anna U M N. There is a vowel finishing here with a A. So I immediately do the W sound. Anau, anau emme. Got it? If you got it, yalla, give me a thumb up. Say yes, I understood. Or no, I didn't understand. Uh, if there is a consonant, for example, uh, uh, let's give a Lebanese name. Sherbil is a Lebanese name. Sherbil u ana. Me and Sherbil. Ana and Sherbil, okay? So it's Sherbilu. Anna. Okay, Sherbilu Anna. It's U, not a W. Okay? Yalla. So, let's repeat the final sentence. And while she was walking, uh, she faint, uh, she uh, felt dizzy and she fell down. By the way, uh, something else I want to say with this structure of the while. The same sentence, depending on context, it can mean while she is walking or while she was walking only in this case okay because um we wouldn't say he you can at amtim she never never so only when it comes to the structure of the while the same uh, tense represents the present continuous and the past continuous yani if i want to say while she is walking i say he you amtim she if i want to say while she was walking i also say what I don't change it. Only in this case with the Y structure, not with other structures of the past continuous. Understood? Got it? Got it? Got it? Yeah, let me know if you got it. Tell me if you got it also here on YouTube. Okay, good. Good, good. And here, did you get it on Instagram? Yeah, we still have one more sentence to do before oh actually it's a big passage not sentence but i can go um maybe i do it tomorrow yeah i'm gonna do it tomorrow at least like that you will wait for tomorrow's lesson what do you think yeah let's do let's read and then tomorrow i continue and there is a nice expression tomorrow so come back okay yes so it's the same for the past and the present tense yes okay very good fadi okay yalla, let's repeat you, yalla, all of you say out loud with me and uh, come back tomorrow. I'm going to continue the, the lesson. There is like a little passage. Okay, I can do it tomorrow because I have to go do my nails now. Okay, yalla. So, Lyon, Rehit, 
يلا سي اوت لاود اليوم رحت شقيت على جارتي ببيتها So I'm gonna pause after every sentence and you say it with me. I'll make the chunks smaller. Yeah. So, اليوم رحت رحت شقيت على جارتي ببيتة هي مرة كبيرة بالعمر أو ختيارة أخدوا عالمستشفى مبارح هايدي لأنه وعيت بالليل تتفوت على الحمام وهي وعم تمشي داخت ووقعت اوكي يلا ليتس سي ات وانس فاستر اليوم رحت شقيت على جارتي ببيتها هي مرة كبيرة بالعمر او ختيارة اخدوها على المستشفى امبارح لانه وعيت بالليل تتفوت على الحمام وهي وعم تمشي داخت ووقعت So I wanted to mention something between the different uh, about the difference between dekhet and wa'at. Somebody mentioned that dekhet is she, uh, she fainted. It's not. Dekhet is just she felt dizzy. She fainted is ghebet ghebet an el Yalla, it's a nice, I mean, it's not really nice to faint, but it's a nice expression to memorize. Okay, so it's ghebet. Let me write it for the Roman alphabet people. Who, who I believe very, very soon are going to start learning the Arabic script. Hi, Evelito. Ghebet an el Okay, what does ghebet an el mean? Yalla, say it with me once more. Ghebet an el wa'i. Ghebet, yani she, she uh, disappeared or she became absent. Yani ghebet, yani she absented in Arabic. That's how you're saying, okay? For example, if you don't come to class, I can say, Inta ghayb al-yom, aw ghibet al-yom, aw hiyye ghaybet al-yom. She was absent today. Okay? Ghaybet an. She absented, literally, from al-wa'i. Wa'i means wakefulness, the state of being awake. Wa'i. Wa'i. Similar to the verb wa'id, which we we're doing, yeah? Another confusing word. So it's wa with a, a wa, and then a with a, a sound. Wa'i, wake, uh, awakeness, wakefulness, the state of being awake. An al wa'i, from the state of being awake. So ghaybet an al wa'i, and in the masculine form, it's not ghaybet, it's ghayb, ghayb. So ghaybet an al wa'i, she disappeared or she absented from wakefulness. Literally, that's the meaning. That's why it means she fainted. And if it's a guy, it's not ghaybet an al wa'i, it's ghayb an al wa'i. Okay? Yalla, it's enough for today. I'm going to leave now. Uh, we can continue the lesson tomorrow. You see, even a tiny passage, when we break it down, it takes a lot of time. We've been here for almost 40 minutes. Uh, so tomorrow we can do like 20 minutes to finish it. Okay? Yalla, if you enjoyed the lesson, yalla, say yes, I enjoyed it so that YouTube can show it to more people and Instagram can show it to more people, I hope. And before I go, I wanted to mention one more time, if you're interested in learning Lebanese Arabic the proper way, I always say it's nice to come here live or do a few lessons on Instagram, YouTube, whatever, TikTok. Uh, you can follow me on TikTok as well. I do lots of fun short lessons there. It's nice to learn phrases here and there, but if you're serious about learning the language, uh, I really recommend uh, choosing yourself a structured course. You know what you're learning. You're going from point A to point B to point C to point D. It's not like you're randomly going somewhere you don't know. No, you know, okay, my targets are this. I'm going to achieve this by the end of the week, this by the end of the month, this by the end of the year. That's how you learn to speak a language properly. Okay? So if you want that, I have pre-recorded self-paced courses. These are 30-day challenge courses from absolute beginners, beginners, uh, general one, general two, and general three. So if you're interested, yalla, come do them. Whoever did them, also write in the comment box that you like them. <laughs> you know, I'm very confident that you like them. It's not like, give me your opinion. No, you like them. <laughs> okay, guys. Nice to see you. Thank you for watching. 
Yeah, yeah, and welcome back to class. We miss you. I look for, but Nabila, tomorrow there is no lesson. Monday. <laughs> Maybe your study session, unless you're doing the study session tomorrow. Okay. Merci, Stephanie. You are the best as well. Yala. Bye, guys. See you.